What is up, you guys? Serenity Soul Invictus. I'm so happy you're joining me today. Touch hands, you know, spirit fingers, all of that good stuff. Today, we are talking about something along the lines of plant and herbs. You know, I like me some herbs in my life. I am a plantologist. I am an herbalist at heart. And so I am on a constant search for different plants, you know, whether it's to use medicinally or for my magical, like, rituals and spells, or sometimes just for beautifying, whatever. We love plants. We love teas. We love um, tinctures, tinctures and mixtures and elixirs. We do all of that around here. So today we're talking about something that I'm so happy I found. Oh my God. And I guess where I found it right across the street from my house, okay? From my apartment. <laughs> it is the lovely, the wonderful, the magical, National treasure, Damiana. <laughs> no, it's not marijuana. It's Damiana, okay? But guess what? It's close. It's really close. <laughs> Let me just tell you this. This one doesn't have any flowers on it, anything, because I kind of plucked it off yesterday and put it in my tea. But I have been searching for this thing for the longest. I used to buy it way back ago, like, I think it was at least nine years ago, I used to buy it by the Anx. There was this nutrition, like, natural health and nutrition store nearby where I worked, and they sold all of the herbs. They had big jars lined off in alphabetical order with all kinds of herbs. I used to buy Sasca Gorilla, Sas Gorilla. <laughs> I used to buy Yerba Mate, yellow dock, all of that good stuff. But since I stopped working to that place and moved all the way on the other side of the island, it's been quite difficult finding these things. But the beauty and wonder of nature is that these things are all around us. We just have to have the magic eye. We got to go look for them and actually do the research, take the time out, put in the effort. And so after going on Pinterest and trying to find it, I had an idea of what it really looked like in its natural form without it being dried and crushed and all of that kind of stuff and bagged up. So I'm walking out, taking out the trash yesterday. Funny thing, remember I just did a video talking about taking out trash, but I was talking about dudes, <laughs> not real garbage. <laughs> but on my way back inside, I looked across the street and there it was, the flowers. It was like two or three flowers on there. And it was just right to the road, leaning right over like it was calling my name. And I'm like, is that Damiana? That's Damiana. And I went and I yucked it out the ground. <laughs> yes, that's a Bahamian term, yucked. <laughs> Yanked, for those of you who may not know. <laughs> Tugged, pulled, removed. <laughs> and I brought it to my yard and I planted it. This is just a piece of what I got. So today we're going to talk about the wonderful uses of this plant. We're going to talk about all of that good stuff. Uses, the medicinal uses, and then we're going to get into the magical uses of the Damiana. I hope you guys are excited. I sure am. <laughs> now you guys know um, in the past few months I've been recording some Depo Detox Diaries. That's the name of those videos. I had updates every month on how the detox was going from that form of contraception. And so I was looking for natural alternative supplements to help regulate hormones and all that. You know, I'm big on trying to be as naturally healthy as possible and to get back to optimal health. So among the list of, of, of plants, Damiana was definitely one of them. And so I said, okay, I used to, I used to drink Damiana one time ago because after I came back lunch break, when I go down the street and purchase the, the herbs and stuff like that, but that were my favorites. When I came back from lunch break, I would just make a cup of tea instead of coffee in the afternoons, I would make my tea <laughs> and everybody would pass my front desk because I was a receptionist everyone would pass the front desk and like hmm wonder what she's drinking today let's look in there like hmm <laughs> and it's a bunch of big brew of sticks and herbs and stuff I just loved it I'm gonna put a, a link or some kind of end note or something like that so that you can find the detox diary playlist so if you're interested, you can check that out. But in the meantime, let's get into the Damiana plant. Known in Mexico as a national treasure, okay, wonder why, 
this plant is like it's magic it's just magical it is number one an aphrodisiac okay that's its main number one purpose an aphrodisiac okay that means it helps blood flow it helps circulation it helps the blood get where it needs to go when it needs to go there okay so for things like male impotency or female heightening of libido okay and that drive Damiana is your go-to plant, okay? For those of you ladies who are like myself, who are looking for hormone regulation and balance and all of that, Damiana is your go-to plant. For those of us who are working now, let's just say for passion in that area, the same area of love and blood flow and all of that, you can use Damiana to concoct yourself a love oil or massage oil. Okay, and this can be used in your special moments to heighten the flow and increase the pleasure. All right. Damiana is also known for boosting your levels of, I guess, feel-good hormones. Now, when you think of feel-good hormones, I naturally things like dopamine come to mind. These regulate those hormones, that this plant regulates the hormones that helps you to remain balanced, that helps you to remain calm, that gives you that focus without it being an unnatural and unhealthy, stressful focus. You know, it's just a natural concentration ability that the Damiana plant helps you to have. It helps you with relaxation, it helps you with sleep, better moods, less irritability, Okay, Damiana plant helps with PMS symptoms. Now, for me, for me, since I have started now on a new form of contraception, which is the pill, I have been tracking that. I have an app for everything these days. <laughs> I've been tracking like in the days coming up before your cycle, right? I have the most terrible PMS symptoms in the world, okay? So that is one number one reason I was looking for this Damiana plant because it, it definitely helps to lessen those symptoms in terms of the irritability, the, the anger and the rage, the crying, the headaches, the body aches, the cramps. It's ridiculous. So Damiana was something I said, okay, I gotta get, maybe I'm gonna find it in pill form or something if I don't see it anywhere because I garden a lot. So a lot of the things, instead of me taking pills for, I try to find it in its real natural state, you know? I don't know what's in pills. You don't always know what people are putting in these manufactured bottles of things called something. You don't know what else can be in there. So it's always best to try to find it organically. Try to find it in its natural state, as close to the earth as possible. Anyways, <laughs> the Damiana plant also helps now, like I said, it is a mild laxative, so if you take it in higher doses, if you drink a lot of it, it does have that mild laxative effect, which is not so bad because it also helps to regulate your blood sugar levels. Damiana is such an awesome plant. It helps to regulate your blood sugar levels, which means it helps overall with weight loss, okay, or with maintenance of your weight. That's always a plus. That's always a plus. Now, um, some people also smoke Damiana and long time ago, like I said, about nine years ago when I used to purchase this, I was online one time and I'm looking at, at different things that people use like in that kind of way, like in like marijuana alternatives then that are legal. <laughs> And I tried it and trust me, the effects were very similar. It was very similar. The only difference I noticed, it was a better difference because it was, it was more natural. It was like, it was like a calm high. That's just like you're floating. It's not like you're paranoid and you're like, I'm hungry. Like <laughs> it was none of that. It was just a calm, peaceful, and it, it lasted so much longer. I didn't want to do it that much. I just tried it, I think, once or twice, and it was it was pretty good. So I'm not recommending you go and do that because, of course, you know your lungs. <laughs> your lungs are going to beg you like, hey, what are you doing? I don't know what this is. <laughs> Hold up. But 
you know, everybody's free to try because, you know, harm none, do as thou wilt. <laughs> so anyways, lucid dreaming. This is one of the more magical aspects or um, symptoms or side effects of the Damiana. Lucid dreaming, it helps you with the astral travel. It helps you to be able to tap into that more astral realm. It helps you to get out of your mind. It helps you with meditation. It helps you with all of these areas to calm your mind. And this is what as magical beings, as, as, as alchemists in training, we are trying to get things that are going to soothe our mind, that are going to bring us to our closest, higher self, instead of instead of things that are going to stimulate us, like stimulants, like coffee, which I feel like I'm moving away from a little bit now because I'm starting to have all kind of palpitations and stuff like that. It's making me irritable. <laughs> I'm trying to stay on the more calm and peaceful, peaceful, uh, uh, side of things. So when you think about, when I think about, what is the lady's name on, on, on Lord of the Rings? I can't, I can't believe I forgot her name. Let me see if I can look it up real quick, like while I'm talking. But the essence of that fairy essence, that like, you know, that, that serene, just floating aura, like is, is what we're going for. So Damiana is something that if you want that kind of effect, you are going to love. All right. <laughs> So let me see. Um, Lord of the Rings podcast. Oh, it's so wonderful to have the internet. Kate Blanchett, right, right. Galadriel, Galadriel. <laughs> yes, she is that. She is that one with the white hair. It's Kate Blanchett. Yes, saying like you know that is that is that serene and tranquil state of mind, state of being that has you just at 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 at. at a stable and neutral level throughout your day instead of highs and lows and peaks and valleys okay Damiana is is the plan for that like I said higher libido all right now it also helps you to feel fuller after you're eating so in the terms of weight loss and stuff that's definitely a bonus you regulation of your blood sugar levels and feeling more satiate, satiated after you, you've eaten now, some people say that two to three times per week is is the recommended amount of like dosage you should take, whether you're drinking it as a tea. The leaves are what people use as the tea to make the tea with. You dry the leaves and then grind them up and use a small amount in your tea two to three times per week. And they said that in excess, Damiana can have give you issues with iron absorption. So... You definitely don't want iron absorption problems, lest you end up with anemia, and that's not pretty at all. All right? With this Damiana, the one thing I definitely would like to advise you guys uh, is to keep up with your family planning practices, because we do not want any, any unplanned pregnancies, all right? Keep up with those things, because it's going to have you in a better mood, and it's gonna have your partner probably in a better mood if you guys share this kind of stuff. If you're herbologist together, it's going to definitely intensify your relationship in that aspect. All right. And also, speaking of the word intensification, intensify, it is said that it intensifies orgasms a lot. Okay. So that's always a plus. Do you know? Do you know that while I was actually looking up the, 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 the info on this plant, it's something that I've heard before, that I've read before, but I've, it just really hit me again that up to, up to, okay, there's about 10 to 15% of women who have never experienced this in their lives, okay? Yes, the big O, okay? And I'm like, like seriously? Seriously? And this is very sad, and it's not... It's, it's something that we can actually do something about. Nature is uh, <laughs> nature flourishes with things that help us and assist us in these areas. So this is why I do these kinds of videos to share the knowledge, to share the wisdom to so you guys. Those who seek are who's gonna find it. And a lot of the times, a lot of the times, 
some people are out there seeking and they can't find the information because people aren't putting it out there. But I'm putting it out there today, all right? So if there are 10 to 15% of women who have never experienced this in their lives, there are up to about 75, hey mom, <laughs> give me a second. There are up to about 75% of women who have difficulties reaching an orgasm. And that alone is sad because you should not look at guys. This is why this is why we have this imbalance going on in the dating world and all of this kind of stuff because guys don't have that problem unless they're old or, you know, in ill health. So the remaining 10% of us who don't have that problem, you know, we still want a little help. We still want a little, mm, 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 you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so... Damiana is for us all, darling. It's for us all, baby girl. Do your thing. Now, a little lot, what a lot of people I've seen have, have done is mixing the Damiana with passion flower, okay? Passion flower. Let me see. I have more notes on the other side here. Mm -hmm. I have notes for days. Passion flower and Damiana together. This is a powerful combination. Of, of, of mood boosting, feel good, happy herbs that actually are going to give you a better quality of life. Passion flower. I'm trying to get the page up if my, if my um, connection allows me. Okay. There are so many, so many varieties of passion flower, but we're just gonna get to the benefits and the uses right now. I'm gonna put some pics in, in this video as well so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Go and get you some. That's, that's what I urge you to do, go get you some. Now, a lot of the times we think about this as young people stuff as a, you know, remedy for young people problems, but this is also for older women who may be post-menopausal or who may be going through menopause at the moment. Like instead of taking all of these chemical drugs and stuff, nature is at your fingertips. You know, these things are here to be your healers. So instead of running to the doctor for everything, go to nature, but make sure to do your research, do your due diligence, do your research, put in the effort, okay? and you will be rewarded, trust me. So while this is loading, I'm also gonna say Damiana, I mean, as if you can't tell already, is also a natural antidepressant, okay? As, as well, like I said, as a menopausal medication, it's also a natural antidepressant instead of going on these other chemical drugs such as like things like Xanax and, and, and I'm a trip to line and all these other th stuff that leave you, you do worse than it leaves you better. <sighs> passion flower. There are about 500 known species of passion flower. The family of plants also known as passiflora. All right. Native Americans have used passion flower to treat various conditions, including boils, wounds, ear aches, and liver problems. Okay. Spanish explorers learned about passion flower from the native Peruvians. They named these plants for their resemblance to a crucifix. This is something that I, I have learned a long time ago in my botanist book about the passion flower being compared to the passion of the Christ with its five petals, five, uh, what does it call those things? Stamen, all of those little things. Um, they named this plant in Christian tradition, tr tradition the passion, is a term used to describe the final period of Jesus Christ's life, including the crucifixion. Okay. People in Europe, Europe use it for anxiety treatment. All right. Of course, we know we heard passion flower used in drinks, cocktails a lot. <laughs> Mocktails, cocktails, that should be awesome as well. It calms your mind. All right like dealing with relief of insomnia and anxiety. It appears to boost the level, oh, mummy. <laughs> it appears to boost the level of gamma amino butyric acid, G-A-B-A, -A, in your brain. And this compound lowers brain activity, which may help you to relax and sleep better. So obviously for sleep aid, as a sleep aid, the Damiana as well as the passion flower are a power-packed combo 
for sleep, okay? Um, a study reported in the journal Anesthesia and Anesthesia examined its effect on patient schedule for surgery. Patients who consumed it reported less anxiety than those who received a placebo. placebo. Other members of the Passiflora family might help treat stomach problems, ulcers, and it also has antioxidant effects. More research is needed. Potential risks include sleepiness, dizziness, confusion. All right. Because of this, it should not be taken with other sedative medications. Also, it is not safe for pregnant women or breastfeeding women because it may induce contractions if you are pregnant. How do you take the passion flower? You can add dried passion flower to boiling water to create a, an herbal tea. You can find dried passion flower or prepackaged tea at many health food stores, yes. And you can also find liquid extracts, capsules, and tablets. Always talk to your doctor before trying alternative treatments, all right? So there you have it, guys. This is, this is something that I was so excited to come to you all with today, Damiana bonus passion flower info you got but today i'm going to be sipping on this stuff i'm going to i have some drying out i already planted one in the garden and i'm gonna just try and keep this alive as long as possible to see what i'm gonna do with the rest of this but if you have any information on passion flower that i did not include in this video today be sure to leave it in the comments below be sure to hit like on this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel because we are going to be talking all things as it relates to magic all things as it relates to mind and all things as it relates to us actually bonding as human beings in this time of light sharing we are in a crucial shift we are in a time of awakening and an information age this is so awesome that we have this platform to be on to share with each other. And so I love you guys for watching my video today. I hope you go out and try to find some natural herb or something like that that's going to help your life <laughs> moving forward. And let me know, like I said, don't be afraid to let me know in the comments below what you think. Alright guys, until I come back with another great video, I'm going to say peace out. <laughs> stay, blessed be.